Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Yeah, so if this is the first time here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we highly recommend subscribing to stay updated with our latest content. Hit the subscription button above, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel release a video. Remember that this channel is not an entertainment channel. You know, entertainment channels give you a hybrid between 10 to 15 minutes. This is not an entertainment channel. So you have to go elsewhere if you want entertainment. Remember to give this video a thumbs up because you will find it helpful and informative. Please remember to share the video with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mama, papa, side chick or side man. And tell them to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You can join the Patreon squad. By doing so, you will gain access to exclusive content that cannot be played on YouTube due to various restrictions. To unlock this untapped collection of videos, click the link in the description box below. Joining our Patreon community allows you to explore content that complies with laws, rules and regulations while avoiding disruption to our channel's functionalities. Douglas Chambers, who was killed by PMP criminal organization members and it, it came from the top and to date the person, our person who have given, given that order has not been arrested and charged for that murder. So you can go to Patreon and you'll be able to see the face and name of those person. So thanks for your continued support and we look forward to providing you with exceptional content. So moving on to today's video. Remember me, remember me. Jesus, 
And when you look at the word of the word Jesus is an expression of angels to show. To show how they steer. For sorrow is not a father. No. As a child of God, just a little way to weep in the presence of God. Yes, yeah, so you know, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel want to express our deepest condolences, you know, to the family of Constable Ricard, Ricardo Fearclough. And as you have seen, you know, we had played a video of the, um, the police officer preaching at a church, you know, that's the church that he attends, and he was in his full police regala. You understand, sir? You know, the man was doing his thing. Good police officer. And he gave his life. He paid the ultimate price. You know, gave his life for a system that is built for criminals, supported by criminal minded polit politicians who have done everything in their powers to persecute police officers like Constable Fearcroft. That's the reason why he was killed by criminals because um, this guy felt that the system is more designed for him than for Constable Ricardo Flaycroft. Our deepest condolences to his family. We know that this man had given his life for a system that did not care about him. And we say that, we say it without any apologies. Yes, and the reason why we say that because you know that the 63 people are in parliament you know, they are more for the killer than for Constable Ricardo Fearcroft. Um, surprisingly, you're not going to see any uh, member of the PMP criminal organization at his funeral. Never seen, I've never seen any of them attend funeral of police officers. Um, you might, we don't know if you might, you might, or you may see, um, the National Security Minister, uh, Arias Chang, you know, although um, at the funeral of Constable Ricardo Fleercroft. But what is really missing from this killing of this policeman is that um, he, he has not received any promotion. And normally, you know, when a police officer is killed in the, on the, in the line of duty, you know, um, you know, you'd receive a promotion because, you know, you're killed in the line of duty. Because um, you're in the United States of America. It's when a police officer is killed, he's prom automatically, his police department promoted him to make sure that his dependents, at least they get a little little bit more money so that they, although they're grieving and miss their father, brother, husband, wife, or, you know, who, you know um, the sex of the person who's killed, at least it brings some form of, you know, it eases the pain financially. So, you know, may the soul of Council Ricardo Faircraft rest in peace. Well, we give thanks that we are here. Yes, and, you know, we can report to you, our loyal audience members. You know that um, we have served in the police force over a decade and... We give God thanks that we are still here because, you know, we could have be a victim of the same thing as Constable Fleercroft. So, you know, some members have asked us, uh, oh, we haven't said anything about it, the killing of Constable Fleercroft, so we are addressing it. As you know that we are very passionate when it comes down to the police, yeah, the police force, uh, police officers. So, um... That's the reason why we, you know, we we are doing this video. Cause you know that we, the police force, is our family. Because our first taste of higher education was the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Yes, the first time in our life we have graduated from any institution was the Jamaica Police Academy. And that's why we, you know, that's why we are so passionate about the rule of law. Yes, because, you know, we don't like criminals. We hate them with a passion. And those who supported them, their beneficiaries, supporters, all these people who are behind the criminals. 
you know that we hate them with a passion so you're looking at that man there you know pol um, police constable ricardo flaircroft you know was killed attempting to file a robbery in Sentan. So, you know, so a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force was shot and killed in confrontation with a gunman in Sentan on Monday evening. A man on this on the way for the man believed to have killed the policeman. So, you know, the dead man is um, Constable Ricardo Flaycroft. Alright, so right now you're looking at. Um, no, we're not digressing. Right now you're looking at the photograph, you're looking at the thumbnail. So right now you're looking at the thumbnail of a gunman murderer. His name is Siren Clark. Um, he's from Riverton, City, Kingston, Oliver. And we're going to tell you about his, his father. His father is called Brigge. They call him Wrighton. And his father in um, 1993, they about, his father had killed a detective sergeant from... Um, half a tree out by close to Riverton City. His father was involved in it was three of them but his father is the only one that his father turned himself in and you know um you know once you kill a police officer you know back then you go straight to the departure lounge, you know. Once you once you put them in the form of resistance because you know the police officers are who are you know there to arrest you you know, once you resist, you know, you put up any form of resistance, well, you know, the police have to defend them like defend their lives. So, um, his father was the only one that um, was able, you know, to reach the courts and apparently um, he was acquitted. It was not, you know, he, um, Brigge, they call him Brigge. Yeah, Brigge was acquitted of the charges, but we'll tell you later what happened to his father. To show you, you know, police, um, you can even use the same criminals, you know, to become one of your best informant. And his father, you know, we tell you about that. So we we'll continue the journey. So you know that um, Ricardo, um, Ricardo Flaycroft, you know, uh, was shot and killed um, shortly before nine o'clock Monday evening. So Constable Flaker was at a supermarket in the parish when he observed a robbery in progress. It is understood that during the robbery, the gunman opened fire and hit another person. Constable Flaker reportedly went to the assistant of the injured person and engaged the gunman in a shootout. However, it is understood that Constable Flaker was hit in the upper body. The policeman was taken to hospital where he died while being treated why well, just so you know so police is you know police and when you when when you come on to police officer you know police will get all shot all on them finger and they don't you know, tell you, you know and all criminal will get all five shots in them head and still live i just saw it you know so sometimes you have to ask and say boy oh the wicked them always can survive some things but you know so we'll continue the journey you understand you know, so he was taken to hospital. Constable Flaycroft um, was hit in the upper body, that I named chest. And, you know, the policeman was taken to hospital where he died while being treated. So Constable Ricardo Flaycroft attached to the Sentan OST. And, you know, OST, but when I got, you know, as as a detective says, um, OST mean on the special thief. So we're not going to say that this policeman was, you understand what I'm saying? Because you can't say that he was a man of the cloth. You understand? But they want to say, boy, the thief in this police in Jamaica, right now, we are telling you, are the police that work with OST. You say, hey, look here. Uh, we're not going to even go there because we are talking about this man and him dead and him thing. But boy, you understand? So he was, you know, file a robbery at a supermarket. So the Jamaica Police Federation has confirmed Constable Flaycroft's death. In a message to their members, the Central Committee of the Police Federation expressed sadness at the Constable killing. It is indeed un an unfortunate moment for the Jamaica Constable Force family. We are numb with pain at our colleagues' demise, said the Federation. So the man, yeah, so the man who was wanted for killing the police officer, yeah, man. 
he was killed by the police in a shootout. So you know, so him decide say more have to take more police, but you know, police have used the training. So we're happy that you know, even with that, the result is very, very on the side. The result, the result is what um, police officers are training for. You know, to make sure that you take out these corrals and you send them straight to the departure line. One way ticket, no refund. No cancellation. You understand? So we say adios to this whole carousing. You understand? Yes. So So the man who was wanted for slaying of the policeman of Constable Fearcraft in St. Anne on Monday was shot and killed by the police in the parish on Tuesday. Sources have revealed. So let me tell you this. You see hey, you see in Jamaica uh, in my time. You kill a policeman, you know. I'm telling you this when Edward Siaga was Prime Minister, you know, I tell you, you know. And most police never tell you, you know. You see, you kill a one police, I tell you, you know. That a, you, you, you have a clean up island wide of all dance, you know. Yeah, you man. Know. Every parish, where every parish and every little community which for um, dance and all them things, you know, clean up. You kill a police, yeah. You know. all, all 15, 20 old corrals, and I forgot, yeah, man. You, you you understand so so there was no safe even for any crim, um, cop killer yeah so that's why um you know so you know called the eat you know that i bring on to the criminal them them no want that you know because criminal no say you no know, want to police them onto them them livelihood because criminal you know remember i said them not they, they are not honest and decent hard working citizens these are criminals you know who feed upon the people them like them feed upon them like leeches. You know, that's how these people operate. Them feed upon the people them like leeches. So, once the police is onto them, you don't know so them operation style and all them things and them have the money coming in. Because they know say police eyes are on them and them don't want that. So, once you kill a police, they want the same criminal argue. They them argue with. If they don't give away them same one of them kill you, I make sure the police get the gun to. I just saw it go because yeah, you kill one and we won. No man, a different thing, man. We are pursue you. If I even hell you go, we are falling here. Come down there. You I just saw it go. You understand? We don't know how it is now, but we are telling about in my time. Yeah, you kill a police. Yeah, man, you don't know. You, know. you, you, you sign your warrant already to go to the departure lounge. You book your ticket. Non refundable. No cancellation. One way trip. Yeah, want to kill a police? Yeah, man. I just saw it go. And let's say I go to like Siren Clark, Father Brigitte. I make sure you turn this set. You go to Monsignor and Richard Albert. Make him carry you in. Because you know what time it is. Yes. Yeah, man. Are we glad for. Yeah, man. I mean, I saw it supposed to go. That's why we love Siaga. See what? You kill one of our police? Yeah, man. We are clean up. Yeah, man. We are clean. Hey, every year away, Dan, them the Hey, you see a police dead at downtown. You see a lot of Dan, all of me him, you know, he might take away himself, you know, because he knows, you know, he knows, 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 and he has to go straight to the departure along, yeah, what do you mean? You know, so you come on, you understand? So this one comes along, you know, in the butler, yeah, we're not even, you understand what I'm saying? When I, we're not, you know, we don't give credence to corals now, coral bunkers, you know, all dirty, um, um, dirty boy, you know, you know, Corabunkus and carousing. Come on, people. So, Butler was reportedly killed in a confrontation with, the, with a police team in Steertown Centre. And I would say, yes, good job, police officer. Yeah, man, send him straight to the departure along. One way ticket, no refund, no cancellation. Can book him flight in us? So, you have to just uh, push him out and make him, go, make him get him seat. So, the man who was wanted was staying of the policeman in Centre. And Monday was shot and killed by the police in the parish on Tuesday. Sources are revealed. Law enforcement officers, officials have identified him as Seraldo Butler, also known as Siri. If you ever say all, or you ever say all, all corrals, they look like dead long time. You understand? So Butler was reportedly killing a confrontation with, the po with a police team. I may mean, tell you, you know, him get gun, him get bullet, him get bullet. 
to him skin till him weak. I so we love it, man. Boy, I forget gunshot, man. What? You kill police? You understand? So, hey, look, man, I tell you, so, we don't have sympathy, we, uh, we don't serve sympathy coffee over here, so, you know. Yeah, man, no sympathy coffee. You kill police, you don't get no sympathy coffee. You get the real mama papa treatment. Yeah, man, we are sending straight to the departure alone. No cancellation, no refund. You book your, fl you book it, your flight, so, you, you know, you, you make sure you have your boarding pass. Yeah, man, straight. No other time for you going to waste taxpayers' money. And I'll only look at sympathy and, 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 and men baby and um, criminal rights uh, activists. Yeah, hey, look. The criminal, the, more, the criminal, because I don't have license going on. We have to, um, Mikkel, Mikkel Jackson and all these people and Carlin. Hey, the, 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 the gunman, they want to know, they just they want to. They want to come visit you, look, I don't have license gun. They want to come say hi and tell you the thanks. So, you know, we're just waiting on these people to respond. So, yeah, man, so we say adios, adios, but, but, like, yeah, man, Sir, um, Siri, Siri should have dead, uh, yeah, man, Siri should have dead a long time. My mother should have bought him. You understand? So, the police team said that they recover a pistol at the scene. The Jamaica Constable Force says the Independent Commission of Investigation and the Inspectorate Professional Standard Oversight Bureau has been notified. So how so much somebody investigate police in a shooting rasta? Man, so not, uh, in the con well, I don't know, they must know that I still call that a manpower, you know, and time, police. So, in, well, well, maybe police here with a counter in the common them thing there and you understand and don't share no information with them because in the come in the come I I criminals them agents say yeah man I I do this give them that you know so do this powerful you know make make a law you know do this you know one criminal you know get a law you know man where I'm struck and rule back the country and, and cause crime and murder to increase and that may I tell you you know that's why we tell you say Jamaica is criminal paradise Cause 63 people them in the parliament and you know, them and them do that thing. You know? Yeah man, them do it man. More than 15 um 15 years ago from um America issue extradition warrant for Dodo Swa. Bruce Golden and the, the PMP them and the Labour right them say so all of them come together one and one common enemy name of the security forces. So that's why we tell you the young police them say, uh leave. What do you mean? So what? Uh, if the CMP that I was getting in the 1988 as a constable, and when they convert it to US, US currency then, and US currency now, I CMP a police them I get that a 36 year ago that you know. You know, see, I scam them, I scam the police. 36 year ago. So I see a money when they convert it. So no matter how much millions they matter about them thing now, when they convert it to US, I see a money I get 36 years ago. The CMP that I am receiving from my job right now, and I CMP me I get a, um, that me I was getting in December. Can I get an increase um, January? I may get an increase again in the middle of the year. In time, in time the time um, when I when, when you know when I I start with this agency. So I get the CMP, but I CMP a police I get for past thirty six years. It cancel them so. Uh, where I say, oh, I don't mean myself well. No, I don't mean myself. I want everybody to live good. 36 years I see him pay. So I, I pay a scap. Hey, look here. If you pay the police them in a US and them thing there, US currency, man, at least make it meaningful. So all along on them thing there, I look here. If I so be the case, just get rid of Jamaican currency and just pay the police them in a US currency. Because everything, you know, the market is based on US currency, not Jamaican um, dollar. Because Jamaican dollar don't have value. The PMP, them no mash it up, man, from in the 1990s. Then they get the chance enough to do two, um, two for one. Two Jamaican um, dollars to one US currency. At the time, you know, the Jamaican dollar, you know, it was like you know, close to um, eight dollar, you know. And before them take it, them say, no, if them do it, they're going to lose the election. Them not love Jamaica people. So we are telling that. So we are continuing, um, yeah, with, with, um, with, the old squirrels in Syria, we, we, you know, we, we kill the police. So, yeah, man, so we continue. So, the Jamaica Constabulary Force reiterated its commitment to bringing those responsible for attacks on its officers to justice. 
emphasizing continued effort to ensure community safety and curb criminal activities. The JCF urges persons confronted by the police to surrender peacefully and not to engage law enforcement officers with lethal force. I made a release from the police from the forces. Hey, how can I mod this? That look here. Hey, you see when when, when we uh, when um um when when I was serving in the police force at no time, you know, man. No man, we not uh, beg which boy not for the throw down the arms. No, we not beg him for throw. We want him for fire. Cause we want to send him to the departure lounge. How can I mod this? That but boy, uh, what? Yeah, tell him for surrender. We don't want a boy. We don't want a cause. We not criminals around. You're you a gunman, yeah. We, you take it to it. We're gonna send a street, we're gonna give you one way ticket. I just saw it go. You understand? Yeah, so I, you know, so I don't know where I'm gonna come talk about it. Boy, oh, no, nah, man, you kill a police and them thing there. We're sending a street to your departure lounge. We don't want to surrender nothing. Figure on them taxpayers' money. Yeah, we, uh, we know a peaceful thing. You understand? So, Constable Ricardo Flaycraft was reportedly responding to a robbery and shooting when he was killed on Monday. The police uh, says investigation into the circumstances surrounding the killing of Constable Flaycraft and the subsequent shooting of Seralda Butler are ongoing. Yeah, man, so case closed. So, see all corals at the bottom you now. So, see policemen at the time, you know, as we show you with the introduction of the, the video, you know, him in a church, a preach and all them things there, you understand? That a, um, Flaycroft. So you know the cop, yeah man, the boy, yeah man, um, Siri, the cop killer got bullets until he was wo weak. Yeah man, all corals get some gunshot, me I tell you man, I so we love it, you know. Then give it to him, you know man, yeah man, straight to departure long. Yeah man, there is a one direct flight to the departure long, no cancellation or refund is all allowed. You violate and take a cop's life, we don't want you to earn in yourself. We will come and get you. Clam, clam, yeah man, straight to the departure lounge. You understand? We have no, hey, we not serve sympathy for you over here, so you know. No sympathy for him. You understand? Hey, look, all them cronies them forgot to, you know. That's how it, that's how it used to go, you know. No man, you're not supposed to end with him. You understand? Not because him friend him call and give him and them thing. No, we know that. You understand? And we talk the community and, and the all, and the, and, the, and them criminal friends them and give him and them thing. You understand? So, you know how we feel, you understand, our strong support for law enforcement officers, especially in face of such tragic events. Police officers play a vital role in upholding the law and ensuring the safety of communities. However, it is also essential to approach these situations with a balanced perspective. I always say balance here, we are talking about defend the police. You kill the police, yeah man, we are come for you. You understand? And when we come, we don't want you surrender. We don't want another peaceful thing. We want to send you a departure lunch. One way ticket, no cancellation, no refund. You book your flight, you, you just get it. I just say it, because once you kill the police, you know what I'm Yeah, you book your ticket now, you, you book your flight for God to depart along. One way ticket. So we don't want we don't want a guy boy come kill the police and then you come turn up a police station to hear the police and look for you. Like Briggy. No, we never had that. You don't go to Monsignor and Richard Albert catch you boy, your other two friends them get liquid and all them things there. But we soon tell you what, what you know what happened after. Yeah, and we very you know, so we're very passionate when they come on to police, you understand? And we can we condemn yeah. We support law enforcement um, officers and we condemn violence against them. And it is essential to uphold the principle of justice and due process. You know, are we encouraging a life for a life? You, you understand? And we don't believe in all the, the, them little um, work to visit, but, um, you know, um, you know um, our life is um, important and you know, taking taking the life of someone who kill a policeman, you know, that is kind of color. Hey, look here. We don't know it with you, you know, because we don't serve a sympathy coffee and sympathy to you, you know. The CMP and we can't be free of family feel. I saw we want to see family feel, too. So, a guy, if you think, when you come out to police, you kill a police, it's an attack on the state. We, ask, oh, oh, um, we know it's a criminal's paradise, but look, we police them hands off, yeah. You know, kill for the police. You understand? Yeah. 
you, you can go look for you look for you walk to this them and you understand because them, them, them and even rape them not a problem with rape and all them things there so don't trouble with police man you kill the police no straight departure along you understand the man said boy uh, we, we fight. we're not violent I just say oh, we, hey look here we work with the time you understand we work with the time you understand a life for a life man you take a policeman life we, you, you understand what I'm saying I will not undermine the very principle of law and order that law enforcement officers uphold. You kill one of our police officers, I will come for you and you resist a straight departure alone. You understand? We not, I just saw it go. Justice must administer through fair and impartial legal process. You understand? And this is another vigilante act. Because you kill the police and we come and you resist. We have to say that you departure alone. There is no other way. So, me don't know what we work to visit them. Oh, you know. You, you can't be arbitrarily um, because someone is suspected of killing a police officer. You know, you, 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 um, you're you going to take the law into you. What kind of law are on? When the corrals and I kill the police and them things like, what? Oh, you know, say nothing about that. But as we kill, as we uh, as we take out the old corrals and you come about, um, you know, that, that, that could be considered extrajudicial extra killing what? A preemptive strike it name. How are you at it? You kill the police straight to the departure along. Edward Siaga, you, Edward Siaga said that in a my time when you kill one policeman, every done in a Jamaica is unnoticed because them know said they, them book them flight. You can't do that. IPMP criminal organization have been sympathetic to criminals, that's why that now I'm hey when Siaga was Prime Minister, remember me tell you, you kill one of the police, me I tell you, hey, I clean up island wide. Who oh, all hey, all are done. A police that are torn and are done all a clarin down from them ESA police that you know he might take with himself in him and run where going you know? on some will go hide you know yeah I just saw it go you know I'm no saying no. we're coming for them you know what you mean I saw it go criminal for living a fear man a flows in their life not the law abiding citizens and I just saw it go you understand so furthermore it is essential to recognize that not all individuals who conflict with law enforcement are inherently criminals. Many factors including systemic issues, social circumstances and mental health challenges can contribute to criminal behavior. Yeah, the whole of we are Jamaica are mad people. Yeah, so we just continue mad. Because all of them madness they are about, um, you know, he has mental, mental problem what? So I'm not killing mama. Instead of killing police, I'm going to kill mama. i come 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 kill our police. All about, um, you know, um, Syria had mental problem. We don't be about Syria. I know police get Syria no mental problem. If Syria have mental problem, we take out the mental problem for him ma, and him pa, and him corrals a friend them. Come kill the police. Constable Flakov is a good man. You understand? Theme life have more value because he's appear. Hey, this boy I never work in him life, you know, your corrals, you know. You understand? Straight to the departure lungs. And we have no, hey, we don't serve sympathy coffee over here, sir. Our sympathy tea, our breakfast, our lunch, our dinner. No sympathy over here, sir. We give, when you get to the, <coughs> I saw it go. What do you mean? Corrals the man, straight to the departure lungs. You understand? So, we don't, hey, you can't re rehabilitate them, um, you can't re rehabilitate killers. Killer, the only thing we don't know if they are killed. Look at all Siren Clark. Over 34 people him killing her. Yeah, that's a theme for theme for that. I only man where did survive from the killing of Sergeant C Detective Sergeant Civil, you, know. you understand? From from half a tree, you know. But as we tell you, so we soon tell you about that. So supporting law enforcement officers and holding criminals accountable are not mutually exclusive goal. It's possible to advocate for the safety and well being of law enforcement officers and their communities while advocating for fairness, justice and compassion in approach to crime and punishment. Hey look here, we don't believe in a compassion. You can you know, when you are dealing with corals and all them things, the cop killer, murderer, what kind of compassion? That a madness. No, we don't know that. We don't serve sympathy coffee over a year, sympathy breakfast or lunch or dinner. No, we don't know that. Just like when you see the guy we get shot we get shot at here, man. Yeah, you know say you know say him book film flight and them thing that that you want. You know say I go straight to the departure lounge. 
You know, say, oh, what kind of compassion? Compassion what? Sympathy is a crime. A first crime that you committed as a policeman. So I let them look a weak police about say, boy, you know me, uh, you know, um, police, you know, uh, come back on a, on a ball and all them things. Yeah, you have policemen, what? Right? Enter them, uh, yeah, them, them go up and, um, boy, shoot out of a police and you lick them, and uh, them see one, you know, them ball like baby, you know. Yeah, so kind of baby them, a man baby them this as police. So when a gunman is willing to kill a law enforcement officer, the best response by the police when the suspect or suspect are eager to resist arrest, take them out straight to the departure lounge. You understand? So the use of the force by the police is a serious decision. Police officers are trained to respond with fire with fire. Use force only when necessary to protect themselves and others from imminent harm. Once you kill a police, you know, you know, say the police are coming, you know, say, him have to because, you know, say, he boy, kill already, you know, so, you have to make sure you're there for your accused. You can't go there and go and like, say, boy, you got some charity ball and them things, you know, that. Yeah. A dangerous suspect has the right to life unless they pose immediate threat. Boy, we don't believe in that still, though, you know. No man, for you kill a police and them thing there, yeah, we know that. They might have a preemptive strike. You see, just like how in America, and them, like how, that's why I love America, you know. You kill an American citizen, America just use a drone and kill you, yeah, just so it got preemptive strike that. And, uh, you understand? That is not extrajudicial killing because why? You're you not going to put no one on the ground for go for so, No, you use a drone. And, uh, you understand? And take him out. Well, we, those who are in close proximity with the, with the terrorists, well, you know, I saw it going and thing that. You understand? So, we know the shootout can injure or kill innocent bystanders caught in crossfire. Police need to consider the safety of everyone involved. But, hey, so when the gunman in my fire feed them gun, they're not care, you know? But, you know, the work, I work to visit them, nothing. Oh, you know, you gotta be careful when, um, when you, in, you know, engage these um, cop killers. Um, especially in public space, you have to think about the civilians. So you got to, you know, um, just try to see if you can catch him another day. Yeah, man. Yeah, if you can kill more police, I just say kind of thing. Now, when it's gunshot a fire, all the citizens of the world take cover. You understand? Take cover and stay out of arms. Yeah. So many police them deal with it. Cause we know we, we, we know say our life, innocent bystander life is uh, very important. But no, not the not Siri. No man, female life, even not a. Hey, some lives not no value. That's why I said them straight ahead. One way ticket, no cancellation, no cancellation, no refund. We know like that. It goes straight. You understand? So, we don't believe in a negotiating with, with criminal. We know like that. We don't negotiate with criminal. No. We not, once you do that, you give them credence. No, sir. Negotiation. Hey, look here, man. Hey, them, what, hey, them people, you, you see, uh, the uh, corals in them at Jamaica where you see them, um, the criminal rights group, them, like the Mikhail Jackson. They watch too much American show and them thing there. We're not in a negotiation with criminal. Ne what? We go straight in for you, man, and take you up, man. And send us straight to the departure lounge. So, we are telling you now, so, this guy now, when name Siren Clark, yeah, that, that, from Riverton City, my dad, you know. So, his father, now, back in the early 1990s, his father, um, he was three men in her, but him father wasn't the man who fired the, uh, fired the fatal um, bullet them and killed a detective sergeant civil um, from Alpha I don't know if I remember if, he, if I am saying his name correctly or you understand. A long time that's still doing it. So, so yeah, so Brigham, uh, yeah, Brigham is the only man who did leave out of now. The three of them. Yeah, and you know, yeah, you know, uh, Unsbeer. Yeah, man, hey, Unsbeer. I a police station and everything where zero tolerance to cop killers, yeah man, and you know say I uns be yeah, but then yeah man when I, we, we not play even right when we leave and them thing there, you kill a police, yeah man, you you'd sign you you buy a ticket, no refund, no cancellation. So we bring it uh, you know, I bring it on me I'm right and you know. Yeah. Um uh, yeah man, I will bring it there and them thing there. But I bring it to turn himself. Find Muncie and Richard Albert after him mother two in, in, in cronies them get them get them di them direct flight yeah and Biggie yeah I understand and anyway Biggie him, him beat the case at uh, home circuit court that's a Simon Clark father and the reason why he beat the case 
is because the witness them not speak the truth and them thing they so him beat it because them say him never them um, the people them say the witness them say them never see him with no gun and um he never um you know search the policeman and them thing there. It's just that when they shot them yes I what them say the witness them say um, after the boy them kill the policeman them policeman the criminal them run in a different direction and Brigitte was running to so I saw him get um, caught up in it. So him say he never he never have no gun boy the two boy them have gun and you know you understand. So what happened was that now yeah so after Brigitte get where them thing there Brigi no say you no. Know, him no say you yeah, understand. Yeah, some sins are unforgivable. So boy him Brigi decide to become boy one of our best informant. Yeah man, him dead you know. Um um Delroy Hewitt take him out and them thing because Detective Sad and Civil was Delroy Hewitt's squad. Yeah, so him you yeah, understand before him left South he make sure him take him out. So I bring did that them thing, Brigi became one of the best informant ever. Yeah man, we use him for years, I tell you. And him did well. So police yeah, you know, you can you yeah man, so I so you have to use criminal them thing that you wanna the biggest informants them in a informer them in a criminal you know. Cause them eh, me I tell you, you know. They know everything we happen everywhere you know, in Jamaica, you know. Well I can tell you this to all of the young police them are you see if you have a taxi man friend, or you understand. Taxi man, taxi, taxi man, I best intelligence officer them pan it. I tell you, hey, hey, taxi man, still right on three mile and save people life at St. James by sharing information with yours truly. May I tell you, taxi man, I best informant man. Once you have all two couple taxi man, I respect you and because two of them know the boy, you're very confidential. You can't, you even you solve crime easy. And then you understand, them evil. Actually, you know, police, just treat people with respect, man. You treat people with respect, don't call big man a boy. Even all the boy, them don't call them the boy and them thing. They just call them both dirty boy. Don't do that. Treat them, you want to treat criminal with respect. Yeah, what we said, um, treat them with respect. You talk to them with respect, you know, res- make it reciprocate. Make them feel like them, make, make them feel like they are a human being. Not treat them like them less than you. You see, once you do that, them even them although them eight police them will respect you. You understand? So I just saw it go. So as we say, you know, and we continue to say, you know, that we're very passionate when it comes on to the police force and its members. And that's what the Commissioner of Police um, promote um promote um Constable Fleercroft to Carpal so at least him dependent him can get a little thing car. Jamaican money now the value is still doing I tell you that you know. Believe you me. Uh, maybe we don't know how long it will take. If it uh, ten years, it will take for him wife and him, him wife get a uh, little check. It just sad though, but it's just one of those things. So, so all uh, remember them are uh, the Centre and Police Division, you know, and remember the Jamaica Constable Force. Our deepest condolences to you and losing one of your colleague to the hands of one of the old corrosion and corrobuncus, the pre of mine criminal Siri and we're very very happy yeah that they send him straight to the departure lounge yeah man you kill a police officer you know no you book your flight yeah man you book your flight and you have your ticket reserved no refund no cancellation straight to the departure lounge obviously have a beautiful day Jamaica Young Police Channel out